sunshines welcome back and thanks for popping in today i have three great subscription boxes to share with you all from the same company one of which is just launching it just launched this month i cannot wait to open it unbox it with you and kind of discover it together so the company that i'm talking about is journal junk box and we're going to open all three of their boxes today now if you're unfamiliar with journal junk box they are like a stationary lover's dream they're full of journals notebooks sometimes planners uh pens stickers all kinds of things and occasionally they'll put an extra lifestyle product in there it actually everything in this box ticks off like christy's favorite things and i like that she's got a variety of different boxes for different people so if you're looking to dip your toe into the journal junk box world or your budget's just a little bit smaller she has the journal junk sack now this is 27.99 and you typically get about four items in here now keep in mind if you go to a six or 12 month membership the price actually drops a pretty good amount and i noticed on the website if you sign up for a six or 12 month subscription to the journal junk box or sack or the box you get a free box so i do have a discount code for 15 percent off i don't know if that would work in combination with the free box you can definitely give it a go um, but you'll save some money going six to 12 months and you'll get a free box that way. So anyway, this one is great if your budget's just a little tighter, or if you wanna go for the whole shebang, you can get the full box. Now this one is $52.99. It's gonna have a lot of things in it, like eight, nine, 10, 11. We get a, a huge amount. It's like Mary Poppins carpet bag with the amount of stuff that she's able to put in here. Lots of stationery, but also we're gonna get um, sometimes a lifestyle product. Now, if you are like, I want both of these, you can get the sack and the box in the same month and it's $71.95 and she does give you a price break on the shipping if you do that. Now her third box, the baby if you will, the box that just launched is her kids creative box. So this is a way to teach kids how to journal, give them instructions, how to be creative. Um, it's probably gonna have some extra fun things in it too. Now I know the owner of this box actually has two little girls and they are probably her inspiration. I know the things inside the box are more unisex, so it's gonna work for boys or girls. I think thinking into summer, the kids are almost out of school. This would be a great item to kind of keep the kids entertained. I know my kids always had summer homework so they could use probably some of the items in here to you know draw their pictures for what I did this summer or whatever but we have a whole generation of writers out there so if your kid is drawn to writing this may be great for you I haven't ever been like a big journaler before because I never knew what to journal but what I like about these boxes is she gives you journal prompts that make you think think um, to kind of give you a jumping off point to start journaling. So we're going to go ahead and dive on in. I'm going to start with the journal junk sack. It looks like this. And then when you open it up, there's always a little bubble wrap pack here. Oh, I see one of my favorite things here. All right, let's go ahead. Milo is not on the bed for shame for shame. Everybody knows his name. He is going to be jellyfish. Hold on when he sees this. First of all, you always get a little card in the box. Second of all, you always get like an inspiration. So you can put it on your vanity or whatever. You can use it to journal with. It says, I have the capacity to love others more fully when I love myself first. I think that is great. Here is the journaling prompts right here. So she gives you five. I'll just give you one of them. Um, what is your best quality? Sometimes we're so negative on ourselves, it's harder to think of what we do best, but it is a mind shift when you start thinking that way. Okay, let me just show you what I saw through the bubble wrap. It's Milo's. Now, if you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you as part of my um, Georgia Sunshine family. But if you don't know, I have three cats. Milo is a little tuxedo cat who's usually on the bed back here. I call him our Sunshine Squad mascot. And he looks just like this. Now, what's cute about this little cat is it's got pink, <laughs> pink glasses. And he's sitting among the plants. Look. Oh, my goodness. This is adorable. It's called the Smarty Cats Journal. And there's, I don't know if it's going to pick up in the camera. Yeah, it is. There's some gold foil through the pictures. 
There's your little band that you can use to keep track of where you are. Oh my goodness. And it's got the little cat on the front. The pages are kind of creamy white. They're nice and thick. And this is what it looks like. They are lined. Okay, I could stop right here and be happy, but no, we got a pen. I've shared this a hundred times. Um, Dallas, who's the owner of this box, I think she's a big a, a pen snob as I am. So she finds the best pens. This one's got little kitties, black and white kitties all over it. Let me just write with it and see how it does coming right out of the box. Oh yeah, it's good. It's a, like a fine tip pen in blue. Nice. Okay. Put the cat back on it before I lose it. Then we got some washi tape. Oh my cuteness. This has got, I think these are little French. Oh no, there's lots of different dogs. There's some little French bulldogs in here. There's some little Scotties. I don't know if it's going to show in the camera. But the cutest little dog washi tape. I don't have anything like this in my washi collection. I love the, the aqua. Okay, and then we got dogs gone cute. We got some little dog stickers. Love. Okay, so that was the sack. Really, really good. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the box or the whole shebang as I like to call it see what's inside. A lot of times they have a similar theme, but the items inside are going to be different. So May is your forever, forever writing. Fur like in pets. All right. And on the back, it tells us how many items we're going to get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items in this box. One of our journal prompts, you have four for each, one for each week. What is your favorite memory of a pet you have owned or spent time with? Awesome. All right, you've got some more journal prompts in here. Which I appreciate if you're someone who's just wanting to get into journaling, those journal prompts would be helpful. Oh my gosh, I love the first thing in this box too. Look at this. It's a little zipper pouch. It says Faith on the front. It's got a little tassel and it's in this gorgeous mint green. Look at the gray tassel. Isn't that pretty? So you could put your journal in here. You could store your pins in here. <clears throat> you could store a book in here if you've got a smaller book so it doesn't get messed up in your purse if you're traveling. Um, I always take a book with me or my Kindle. My Kindle would fit in here on the plane when I go. Um, so that would be cute for that. It would hold your cord. You could use this for lots. I like how extra tall it is. Obviously, you know, you've got makeup or whatever. Your pool bag, if you want to throw, you know, goggles or whatever as you're headed down to the pool with your kiddos, that would be cute too. Okay, so that's the first item. The second item are <laughs> page flags. These are adorable too. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five sets of page flags and they're cut. Like you can see one cut there, one cut here, one strip there, one strip there, and one strip there. So there's a little page flags. We have a little notebook. It says, I just awesomed all over the place. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> That's adorable too. I like the different themes. She did like, last, was it last month? We got this whole like, or maybe it was two months ago, this whole travel theme with like a journal that you can write all your travel itineraries in. Um, this one's a little bit more cutesy, but I have to say I like it. And the pages say, I just awesomed all over the place. Sorry, not sorry. So you put your grocery list or whatever on there. I feel like the times that I'm sitting in like the doctor's waiting room or the DMV or wherever I am that where I have to sit, that's when my mind starts going crazy and I want to take notes. You can take notes in your phone, but I just don't really like that. I like pen and paper, so that's adorable. Um, we got a different set of stickers. These are, you had me at meow. Oh my goodness, look at the cat toy. I don't think it's showing up in the camera, but the little mouse or fish or whatever that is, it's got a feather for a tail. That's a feather. And the cat's like about to pounce. What does this one say? You are my best friend. Look at that one getting into the fishbowl. Oh my goodness. Adorable. <clears throat> okay, the next thing. <laughs> 
my little heart just oh i've been wanting to try these okay i was just on a website looking at these and i couldn't decide if i wanted to try them or not i love these these are perfect have you ever tried the brush tip markers I haven't, and I've been so curious. I've been getting into like card making lately, and I've noticed that when I die cut, you know, a lot of my stuff for my cards, you need to like color it in. I'm not very creative that way, but I've noticed that a lot of people are using these brush tip markers. It's a marker with a paintbrush tip, and you get 20. Do you see the rainbow? It's like a bag of Skittles, taste the rainbow. Look at that yellow. Oh my goodness, those blues. Have y'all tried brush tip markers before? Am I like the final frontier? Am I like the last holdout? Let's just grab the orange one. Again, I'll take the same paper. It's just my notes from Journal Dog Box. Let me just, let me just see. I mean, I guess you color with them. Oh, okay, these are not what I expected at all. I like these. Okay, so you're able to like write with them, but you can also color with them. I wanna smell it, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, y'all know I like to smell everything. All right, I, I am addicted to brush tip markers now. I've decided. That's a lot. A pack of 20 markers is expensive. Okay, I love that. The next thing we got is another pack. This time it's a two pack of washi tape. This one has kitties. Oh my goodness. Little kitties all over it. And this is purple with little cat paws. Look. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I got to do a cat theme in my planner coming up because this is so cute. Okay. And then the, oh, there's two more things in here. We got a notebook. And do you see what I say? Like, we'll you'll get similar things, but not the same between the sack and the box. So this one's got, are these puppies? Yeah, little dogs all over it. Oh my goodness. You know how when dogs get up, they like stretch their back legs? That's what this guy's doing. He's like stretching his back leg. So you have like a confetti pattern of puppies. <laughs> And then this one, okay, this is where I say sometimes you can do planners because this journal could be used as a planner or you can journal it and it'll let you either pick, um, you circle the month. So it says January all the way through December. So if you're in May, you can circle May and then you can circle, it has one to 31 under the months. So you can say like today, I'm not sure, it's today, May 6th. So you can circle May and circle the 6th and then do your journal entry. So it's a little fun. Again, I like the paper in this. I love a coil. I love a coil because when you're going to write, it writes like flat. You know, you're not having to like work with the page and it's it won't kind of fold down. Am I making sense at all? I hope so. I know what I'm saying in my head makes sense, but I don't know if it does to you. Okay, we got that guy. So that here. And then the last thing we got is another pen. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's really pretty. It's just a little pink kitty. He's got a really cute tail with a bow on it. See, his tail is like the little checkerboard stripe. And then there's a little bow right there. And then there's his cute little face. Let's see what color this writes with. Is it pink or is it blue? I'm really impressed with those brush tip markers. I have to say, okay, this one is a little bit more purple. This one. Nice. So that was my journal box. I loved it. I don't know what I liked better, the Milo journal from the sack or the classic tip markers, the brush tip markers from the box. What was your favorite in either one of the boxes? Let me know down below. And now let's go ahead and dive into the kids box. I don't think I told you the price of the kids box. It is $37.99. Again, I have that discount code for 15% off. And also, again, if you get a six or 12 month subscription, the price goes down like several dollars a month. Um, so here is what it looks like. This guy is heavy. I'm anxious to see what's inside. I did see a tiny spoiler. I tried not to look, but I noticed it was a space theme, which I think is a great starting off point for kids. So it says kids creative journaling box. 
it says, we hope this box brings your child joy. Um, tips for encouraging your child to journal. Set aside some time to write in their journals together. Encourage your child to journal daily, <clears throat> whether it's before bed or in the morning. Celebrate your child's progress. And then they give you some things where you can take a picture and post it on Instagram if you want. It says explore, write, and soar for May. And then she gives them five journaling tips. Keep your journal in a safe place. Set aside time each day to journal. Okay, so she gives them the five tips on how to reflect. Oh, this is so cute. She gives you a May journaling map and shows you, I guess, or tells you about each of the items. Okay, so let's go in. We have a bookmark and this is called a Moodoscope. Oh my goodness, my daughter would have gone bananas for this. Think like mood rings when we were a kid. Um, it talks about grateful, happy, sad, angry, and frustrated. So easy ways to just add your feelings or being able to write your feelings or identify your feelings sometimes for kids. Knowing that they can have big feelings is a big deal and how to articulate it. Okay, so we have that and then on the top it says, Creative Kids Write. Okay. And then inside, oh my goodness, we have a little astronaut plushie. I mean, what kid doesn't like a plushie, right? That's adorable. Okay, does it, what does it say about this guy? It says, Space Buddy, hang out with a plushie astronaut and explore the galaxy together. So that's cute. He's got his little backpack on adorable okay the next thing we have in here oh my goodness is a set of glitter color changing iridescent gel pens i mean these things are magical they change colors on dark paper they're iridescent and they have a glitter effect i want those <laughs> oh how cool Okay, let's see what it says about that guy. It says, write, scribble, and draw with these fun space-themed pens and pencils. Keep your pencils sharp that are included with a sharpener. So I think there's not, this is not the only writing utensil in the box based on what I'm seeing. Let me see if I see, oh yes. Okay, we have this guy. It has a little lid, is that a pen? Yep, that's a pen. That's cool. Okay, and then we have this pencil and it looks like a galaxy. The blue eraser, I like the blue eraser. Okay, so we have that. The next thing in here, oh my goodness, she put candy in here. Space Rocks, this is a popping candy. What kid is not going to love this box? It's like a treasure box. Okay. Next we have, oh, look at this pencil sharpener, y'all. You put the pencil in there and it looks like, what is that, Jupiter? Or maybe just a UFO? I guess you could make it whatever you wanted. How clever is that? Pencil sharpener, okay. Okay, then we got a couple of rolls of washi tape. Oh my goodness, look at this one. It's blue and it's got like different planets. Oh, there's a rocket. Oh my goodness, my kids would be fighting over this if they were the age they were for this box. How pretty, look at that one. All right, so we have those two. Um, in terms of washi, it says, use these cool space themed decorations to personalize your journal pages. So it helps get them excited about um, journaling because they get to decorate their pages. Oh, they have a space themed pen. Love that. So lots of different creative writing tools. This is a really super fine tip pen. Can you see how fine it is? Wow, this is good. All right, then we have some stickers. These are puffy stickers. Like kind of like 3D, do you see how they're a little puffy? They're so, you know, they, they squish a little bit when you get them. That's pretty, I love the earth one. Okay, let's see what it says about the stickers. I think that's what it, it talks about using these to decorate with, okay. The candy, it says, enjoy the pop and fizz of the sweet candy while learning about space. Okay, then we have a little notebook. It says La Lune. 
And then inside, oh, it's really cute. Okay, here's what it looks like in the front. Here's what it looks like in the back. It's almost like a comet. Sorry, my ring light's kind of playing with it. And then inside, the pages are lined. And then they're, they have some decor. So they have like a moon on one side and then like shooting stars on the other. And it's all lined. This is like about, you know, what a kid would want to journal, I would think. Wow. I'm probably thinking that's between 30 and 50 pages. Nice. Okay. Gosh, there's still more. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is a bracelet? I think this is like a little bracelet. Yes, it says, oh, it's a pop fidget bracelet. It says, have fun popping this cool bracelet while increasing your focus. So if you have a kid that's having trouble, you know, sitting still, it's a pop it. And so you just can, you play with it as you're like sitting. If you have to be still, sometimes if a kid can just like fidget just a little bit. I always was one of those people that believed or kids, kids aren't made to sit still all day long. They have to be doing something. And I love this idea. I love it. And it just pops. Fidget bracelet. I have never seen a fidget bracelet before. Lots of fidget toys, but that's a really great idea. Okay. Gosh, there's still more. All right. This is called the Saddle Sewn Journal. So not only do they get a notebook, but I guess this is their journal. Looks like this. Very similar to the little notebook. Again, it's got a place to hold your space. And this is pretty too. This is the paper. Wow, she did an excellent job with this. An excellent job. And this one's heavier and probably thicker. I would say that's got more like 100 pages to it. Gorgeous. Now, I know for me and also some kids, they will be afraid to start because they're afraid they're going to mess up. So if it's somebody starting out as a journaler, maybe they can start with this and get their feet wet and then move on to this guy, if that makes sense. Okay, and I think there's one more thing left in here. And it says, oh, wow. 100 questions about outer space and all the answers to how, what, when, where, why, fantastic facts, and dazzling data. Look at that cutie in the astronaut costume. Blast off, it says. And then it says things like, how does the man in the moon cut his hair? Eclipse it. <laughs> so there's jokes in here too. Oh my gosh. This is the kind of thing my kids would love like on a road trip or something when we were like, okay, we would, if it was a long road trip, we would say, okay, the first like hour there's no electronics. So we try to play games or whatever. That would be a fun one to have in the car. And then it says, may explore, write and soar journal prompts. If I could travel to any planet, where would I go and draw a picture or use the stickers to describe the planet? So it gives them ideas for what to write. If you have a kid who just really struggles, I had one kid that was like amazing with writing and one kid that just, he did a good job. Well, I just spilled it because I said he, but he just wasn't confident in his writing. This is great. If I could create my own planet, what would I name it and what would it be like? But honestly, if your kids don't need the journal prompts, these are really great questions to just ask around the dinner table to get your kids talking. I love that. Oh my goodness. I'm a big fan of the kids box. What did y'all think? Again, if you want to try any of the journal junk boxes, you can use my discount code for 50, 15, one, five, 15 percent off. Um, but then again, if you want to get a six or 12 month subscription, you can get a free sack or journal with one of those subscriptions. I'll have the discount code and all the information down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, Dallas, for sending this over so I can share it with you guys. And I'll see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye.